Good evening from Denver, Colorado. Roadrunners TV starting off the 2022-2023 Roadrunner season. Eric Lansing here with Christian Perez bringing you men's soccer. Going to see the Gators with possession first. And here we go off to the 2022 season. Hopefully I can do some TD stuff. Nice pass here to Bates. No offside call. Centers, no one there. Coming in a little late with Stevenson and also bigger staff. Whether it's a specific team, maybe you're Jenny Glenn in the volleyball team or Janice Christopher, and this ball gets into the box, chipped over the head to left side and into the net. The goal scored. Rodriguez trying to find Bates here, one on one with the keep, no offside, and a nice stop there by Herrera Fuentes. Chance here for the Gators. Ferrari throws out, great save, but the rebound and the header. Miller. Couldn't corral that initial save. That was a rip by Ferrari. Line drive, back post, header just misses wide left. I believe that was Vanderven. Blyer, left foot, towards the keep, and a great save. Herrera Fuentes. Corner kick. Corner. Deflected header, oh, and saved. Perfect spot there by Fuentes Herrera as we head into halftime. Back post. And a foul Penalty. in the box. Big time chance here for MSU Denver. The Roadrunners cut this lead to within one. Vota. Uh, we'll be in a good spot. Turnover. Right side, Perez looking to rip one. Easy save there. Right, nice pass here. Slides in. Nice defense by MSU Denver. Still work to be done. Smith blocks that out. He'll go to Bates, got some green in front of him, back to Vota. Nice deke there, left foot, but high over the crossbar. Roadrunner still with possession. Bates, bigger staff, center, trying to reach the bad post. Call, stepping up, Vanderven gets tripped up a little bit. Bates with a lot of green, looking to rip, but it hits off a defender. Still work to be done, leaves it, bigger staff into the back of the net. And the Roadrunners have tied this match at 2-2. Two two. And Aaron Biggerstaff picks up his first goal here of 2022. What an important goal. It ties things up. And I think that was Adon Perez on the actual assist. Blyer centers at his feet. Bates, left foot. Oh, oh. misses wide left. Near the top of the box. Bounces, signs, knees it. Oh, oh. and a nice save. Doesn't look like anybody's going to get to it, and that's going to do it. What a game between these two squads. The kickoff. These two teams starting off their 2022 season with a draw. Um, I think first off, we never have a boring opening game. I think that's now become uh, part of the tradition. Um, but no, I mean, look, I thought we were playing some good stuff. I think they scored a couple goals, a little bit against the run of play. And, and so I was still confident in the group. I was just hoping that they kept that, that same mentality that we've been talking about. And then, you know, the talk was, hey, we just got to do our job a little bit sharper, a little bit better. And I think if we do that, eventually they'll, they'll run out of steam. Um, and so it was great, obviously, then to get the second. I was, I was hoping we were going to get the third there toward the end. Um, but credit San Francisco State, they, they're a good team. They passed it really well, and they were dangerous with their chances. So I think we need to be a little bit more clinical next time, especially early on. We had some great looks, and I, I don't know if we were ready for those. Yeah, I think the things that are most going through my mind are the things that we could have done better. Like, we put ourselves in a hole pretty early going down two goals. I mean, we had a fantastic start in the first 25 minutes. We were really good. We were in the game. We were on them. We were pressing. Everything that we were doing was coming off. Um, and then two mental lapses. We conceded two goals, and we go into halftime. Down 2 1, thanks for a penalty. But um, yeah, I think we dug ourselves a hole and we dug ourselves out of it really well. I think we played really, really good stuff in the second half. We created a lot of chances, had a couple of chances that we probably should have scored. Uh, fortunate to get on the end of one, but um, I think a 2 2 tie is probably a fair result for the game overall. And then I think it was just all about energy and effort from the guys, and that's something that's contagious. If one guy's putting in the effort, everyone else around him is going to do the work too. So um, I think I'm just really proud of the effort that we showed and the way that we dug our way out of a, a game that we probably easily could have lost and maybe last season or in the spring before we, we might have found ourselves uh, the losers today, but it was good to get a draw out of the game. I knew that his angle was probably pretty tight. He was a little bit higher and there's a defender there. And so I, I just called for it behind and I guess he has eyes in the back of his head as all good players do. So he, he was able to find me and he gave me a really good pass. And from there, it was just stuff that we practiced. Don's been fantastic for us, you know, creating, scoring goals. He has great vision, great awareness. We were talking about trying to be ready to hit it off our first time. So credit to Adon for finding Aaron and Aaron for taking his chance, right? That's what we want guys to do. Be confident, be assertive, take that chance. So I couldn't be more pleased for Aaron as well. 
Last year he did everything right but score, so it's great to see him on the score sheet. First, first thing right away, should build confidence for him and in our team in him. I went a lot of last season without scoring, so um, I had a good end of the season, but at the beginning and through the middle, I, I couldn't really find the goal. I was um, tentative in shots, sometimes pass when I should have shot, vice versa. Um, so, I mean, it feels fantastic just to get, to get a goal and help the team. You know, for me, as long as we keep competing the way we should and we keep that belief going, we're, we're going to be in every game this year.